I welcome you to AgriWatch. AgriWatch mainly focus on updating agricultural informations. If you are watching this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel. The information will be helpful for your preparation of different competitive examinations mainly for agricultural graduates. Let us see in detail of today's news highlights. Importance of trees. An IAPR Kanpur backs the Sardar Patel Outstanding ICR Institution Award. And third news is enforcing a ban will not end the manic of double burning. A news from Hindi. Let us see in detail. As we know, International Day of Forests is observed on March 21st. The UN General Assembly proclaimed 21st March the International Day of Forests in 2012. The day celebrates and raises awareness of the importance of all types of forests. On each International Day of Forests, countries are encouraged to undertake local, national and international efforts to organize activities involving forests and trees such as trees planting campaigns. The theme of each International Day of Forests is chosen by the collaborative partnership of forests. The theme for each International Day of Forests is chosen by collaborative partnership of own forests. The theme for 2019 is Forest and Education. The next news is IIPR Kanpur that is the Indian Institute of Pulse Research Kanpur backs the Sadar Patel Outstanding ICR Institution Award. IAPR Ghanpur, its network program have developed and released more than 700 high yielding and disease resistant varieties of pulses along with more than 50 matching packages technologies across the country. Strengthening Brill Seed Program and Quality Seed by establishing 150 seed hubs in India. The country has also reached near the self-sufficiency in seed sector. The major outcome of all these efforts bear fruit as we achieve the record production of pulses to the tune of 23.13 million tons during the year 2016-17. And the next news is, enforcing a ban will not end the manic of stubble burning, says researcher. Only educating farmers about the monetary cost of burning stubble can address the environmental crisis triggered every year in Punjab, says a team of Swiss and Indian researchers who interviewed 600 farmers over two years. Burning stubble, the rice stub left after the harvesting, is linked to winter air pollution in the states as well as downwind Delhi. The team the government efforts earmarked in fund for specialized farming equipment for store management or enforcing the state their ban on the practice are unlikely to solve the problem. Farmer cooperative groups a key link between the government and farmers ought to be playing a more active role in educating farmers. In their interviews, the researchers found that the farmers who had bigger land holding were more likely to burn straw. Those who used combined harvester for cutting the straw as opposed to manual rivers were more likely to engage in burning and those who burned or did not burn were equally aware of the steps and procedure required to abstain from burning. Let us see the crop of the day. Today I will be discussing about mustard and red seed. It's Brassica species, it comes under the family of Brassicaceae. As we know, mustard is having some pungency. It is due to the presence of isothiocyanate uh, and the enzyme hydrolysis product of glucosinolates. Due to the presence of toxic glucosinolate in its cakes, the unsuitable source of protein for both human and cattle. It causes goiter and affect growth and development. It is a rabbi crop and the varieties of mustard and rapeseed are first rapeseed, brown sarsen that is 
Brassica Compostus war Sarsen and the variety is Pusa Kalyani brown Sarsen's variety is Pusa Kalyani and yellow Sarsen's uh, variety is Benoy B-E-N-O-Y Benoy and the mustard varieties are Indian mustard or rye it is called Brassica Genesee the varieties are Kranti Varuna Rohini Pusa Bar and some other varieties are Lakshmi Vasundara Ashirwa Basandi Pusa Jaikisan Pusa Jaikisan is first variety of Brassica Genesee developed in the world by Professor V. L. Chopra with the help of somatic hybridization. The Directorate of Rapeseed Master Research is located at Bharatpur in Rajasthan. Let us see the term of today. Quality protein maize. As you are aware about the term quality protein maize, let us have a recap about quality protein maize. The maize rich in amino acids, lysine and tryptophan. It was first developed by S.K. Warshall and he got the World Food Prize during 2000 for the identification of this quality protein maize research. The OPEC 2 gene used as a marker in maize breeding significantly increased lysine and tryptophan in the cereal protein. Shaktiman 1, Shaktiman 2 and HQPM that is high quality protein maize 1 are the uh, pro quality protein maize varieties. That's all today's news highlights. If you have any query you can comment in the comment section. You can follow the telegram channel and whatsapp group mentioned in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and share the information among your friends. Thank you guys. Keep learning. Let us see in the next video. Stay tuned again.